you want to know? Welcome back guys to another episode of Cooking with Lily. Alright, today we're going to do a, what we call a caldo de camarón, which is just a good uh, shrimp soup. And we're going to start off with using very simple ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and look down here. And we have a pound of shrimp to start us off with. Then we're going to need some chipotle peppers. You can do a clove of garlic. If not, I just used minced garlic already. A little teaspoon of that. And just a little piece of onion. You're going to need almost about two teaspoons of salt. Now that can vary depending on your taste. And then you're going to need some vegetables, which are going to accompany it. You're going to need two Roma tomatoes, a potato, some zucchini, and some onions, some green onions. Okay, so we're going to start off by getting everything kind of ready. So we're going to start off by making our sauce. So we're going to cut our tomatoes in fours. So let's get these started. And we want to make sure we have a pan with some boiling water already and we're going to proceed to boil our tomatoes okay all right well we get those boiling up to a boil we're going to go ahead and chop up the rest of our vegetables so here let's start off with our potato we're going to go ahead and chop that up and you can cut it to big chunks i like to have a nice thick potato in the soup. Now this can vary depending to your liking. You can do them as thin as you want, as big as you want, whatever you may want to do. We're going to go ahead and get our zucchini, chop that up as well. Okay. And just cut them in half a little bit. So. I like to do just cut them in half. There you go. You can add as many of different vegetables as you want, so that doesn't matter. Okay, and let's get our green onion here. Let's get it chopped up. So we got everything chopped up, okay? So like I mentioned before, we're gonna go ahead and have one of our pots ready. So here we have about halfway filled up with water. Now this can depend, okay? So we're gonna have it bringing up to a boil and we're gonna go ahead and start cooking our veggies in there. All right, so this stew, it's pretty much up to your liking. Um, you know, depending how much water, how much juice you want left over. Remember, it's just a pound of shrimp. So it just depends on what you want and just give it a nice little stir. And we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and it's gonna cook the vegetables, okay? All right, so our tomatoes are done. We went ahead and just took the skin off, okay? Then we also have our vegetables cooking over here. Leave them for about 10 minutes after you bring that to a boil, just to soften up the veggies a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and put our tomatoes into the blender, all right? And this is gonna be the base of our sauce. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our onion, our chipotles, and our garlic, all into this. And we're gonna go ahead and proceed to blend. All right, so the same pan that you use for the tomatoes, just put them back in, because we're gonna use that pan to fry up our sauce. So we're gonna add a little bit of oil because we're going to fry up our sauce and it's going to season it. So as you can see, we got our sauce made. All right, just make sure you put nice oil all around. You can switch the pan, or like I said previously, just use the same pan, just let the, the water dry off of it so it doesn't splatter all over you. So we're going to go ahead and season our sauce and fry it. And just make sure you put that lid back on, let it sit in there for a little bit. All right, so we brought our sauce up to a boil. So that means it's ready. So now we're just gonna pour it into our other pot with all of our veggies. All right, and just get all that liquid in. All right. And that's it, let's go ahead and stir it up a little bit. All right, and now we're gonna add our shrimp. And our shrimp takes about 10 minutes to cook thoroughly. 
Um, and just keep checking on it. But that's about it. That's kind of what it's supposed to look like. You got all your veggies, all your shrimp, and you see the shrimp is getting pretty cooked pretty quickly. We're gonna go ahead and cover that back up and let it cook for about 10 minutes. We have the final product here. Okay, so as you can tell, there's a lot of steam coming out. I mean, there's a lot of the vegetables are nice and soft. The shrimp is well cooked, everything like that. Now, what we did is we toasted a little bit of bread. All you have to do is put a little hot pan, add a little bit of butter, and just flatten down the bread. It tastes really good. And it gets a little bit of a texture to the stew. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's start off by trying out just the broth. So the broth is good. And we used about three chipotles. And it's a, just a little bit spicy, it's not a lot. So obviously you can change the chipotles depending on how spicy you want it and stuff like that. The vegetables came out, again, nice and soft. I mean, you can kind of see, look at that. I mean, they're just falling apart, so that's good. But let's try out our shrimp. Let's see how good our shrimp came out. So everything is good. The shrimp is nice and thick and juicy. Like I said, I like the bread because I can dip it in the stew. I know a lot of people love that. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We have a lot of recipes coming out in English pretty soon. There's going to be a lot of other stuff, cool drinks, cool juices, um, a lot of refreshing drinks. So just to get, get us through this summer, uh, we'd like to thank everybody for the support. You guys have been great. Um, and if you have any questions on any of the recipes, just write them out down in the com comment section below. Um, but other than that, we're trying our best here to keep you guys entertained, bring you guys a couple good videos here and there, and a lot of good recipes and a lot of stuff that you haven't seen we're gonna be trying out. Um, so until then, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, this is another episode of Cooking with Lily.